Jyoti Labs has reported subdued earnings for the June quarter. As expected, the consumption slowdown had a bearing on volumes, which grew at just 5.6%. To understand the impact of lower demand in the quarter gone by, Agam Vakil had a chat with Joint Managing Director Ulas Kamath. Listen in. Yeah. Uh, in fact, uh, this quarter is one of the toughest quarter uh, we have seen in the recent past. Uh, even though the slowdown was there for the last six quarters, but the the quarter which has gone by was one of the toughest uh, because the monsoon. We, uh, the first quarter always depends on the monsoon, and the monsoon indications were not that great. And uh, also the consumption slowdown, which is happening at uh, uh, rural India uh, for the last six quarters. The last quarter was uh, very very acute. Uh, that is so. To that extent, uh, it was. I would say it is a one of uh, what we have seen in the last quarter. But July month is uh, looking much better than the June. Uh, to that extent, I am hopeful that the uh, coming quarters will be much, much better than uh, uh, what the quarter has gone by. Uh, and uh, the second one is that uh, we have seen uh, uptake in uh, most of the daily uh, uh, needs product, uh, uh, but uh, for a smaller packs. Uh, that's the clear indication when the people are taking the smaller packs of 10 rupee and 5 rupee pack, then you know that they are buying for a week or buying for uh, three days. So their consumption is still there, but they are buying it as much as required only. And uh, household insecticide, which is completely dependent on uh, monsoon, uh, which has impacted us uh, uh, because we are uh, negative uh, by about 20% in household insecticide business in the quarter one. If I Take out that, uh, then we have grown by 7.7% volume terms and uh, uh, value terms it will be 4.6%. So not as much as what we expected it, uh, but uh, hopefully in the coming quarters we should be able to make up uh, some portion of the business what we have lost in the quarter one. As far as uh, gross margin is concerned, it has improved uh, 150 base, uh, bips and uh, that has resulted in uh, better uh, EBITDA margin and uh, also profit after tax has uh, gone up by 11.6%. So the margin expansion, it is good and uh, scale advantage you are able to get in and uh, crude prices are softening, uh, so no, no worry on that. It is just that the top line we need to get it and that, that is consumption led completely and more so from rural India. Sir, I'm just trying to understand better when it comes to the volumes growth. If I take your overall picture, standing at around 5.6%, you are saying that the month of July has turned out to be much better. Uh, but going forward, uh, uh, you know, it's not like the monsoons have been the best. Uh, I just want to get a better understanding that should we see similar numbers in the second quarter as well? What can you tell us about the outlook overall when it comes to this financial year in terms of growth for revenues? Yeah, uh, we'll take uh, quarter by quarter. In general, the second quarter, uh, we, we depends, uh, you know, like uh, on the kind of monsoon what we are seeing now in the south and the east and the northeast, uh, it looks very, very healthy. And enough water is there, uh, especially in the east and the northeast. Uh, more, 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 more of most of the places you see the flood also. So enough water is there. Uh, to that extent, uh, uh, no worries. But uh, for the entire year, uh, if you want to uh, see our guidance, uh, earlier we had given 12 to 14 percent uh, because it was an election year and. We we're expecting uh, a lot of money flowing into the common man and they will buy it. So the indication what we had given uh, at the beginning of the year was 12 to 14 percent. But the way how we have seen uh, now uh, in the first quarter, uh, we are uh, revising it to 10 to 12 percent growth. And the way how we have done in July month, I'm hopeful that if it continues, we should be able to hit 10 to 12 percent volume growth in the current uh, year with a healthy EBITDA number and the PAT numbers. And in terms of rural growth against urban growth, uh, how are you comparing these two segments for your company? Uh, yeah, urban is doing very well. Uh, in, in the past, for us, uh, urban versus uh, rural, it used to be 1 is to 1.5, but now it is about 1, to, 1 is to 1.3. To that extent, um, uh, the, it's a little subdued. But if it takes off, uh, then we should be able to go back to 1.5 in the coming uh, two or three quarters. Uh, we are hopeful uh, that uh, the consumption slowdown, uh, if it recovers, uh, then we are fine with that. Otherwise, as of now, it is 1 is to 1.3. So, and uh, household insecticide has clearly been uh, what has been on the drag on the growth overall growth. So what are the challenges here, sir? Uh, the challenges are just that we need to be uh, available in 3 million retail outlets and uh, uh, we need to downsize the packaging and uh, we are not touched the retail price as such. Uh, uh, so we have come from 1 kilo to 1.5 kilo to 200 grams to 100 grams and the single use packages. So whatever is required uh, to adjust uh, this kind of uh, uncertainties uh, which uh, we have uh, quite a bit of experience in the last 30 years. So we have done that. So that is a reason, one of the reasons I would say that we are still getting 7% uh, volume growth. Other than household insecticides 
traditional business, which is uh, which is mainly because of uh, you know, no rains uh, uh, in most of uh, the market where we are strong. The rest of things are under control. Uh, the challenges are maybe one percent, two percent here and there. But overall, the boom in consumption, which we were hoping, it is not happening at this point in time. But sometime it could be just it can be uh, one or two quarter off. But uh, we might go back to ten, twelve percent uh, as an industry. Uh, yeah, yeah, just to give that you know, like a, a, a different perspective, when generally the GDP is around six, seven percent, we always see the FMCG business growing at uh, ten to twelve percent. It's always uh, five percent uh, plus when compared to GDP. Uh, but in the it's the first time when we are seeing that uh, GDP is around seven percent, and uh, we are also seeing the FMCG growing at seven, eight percent as far as the Nielsen numbers are concerned. Uh, so this is a one-off kind of a thing. Uh, hopefully, things will come back to normal uh, sooner than what we expected. Thank you.